Hey guys, Boshit here. Well, this was a long time coming, but now that I've learned Source Filmmaker and have had a couple shorts to show for it, I think now I've gained enough perspective to get at the long overdue answer to the question of how Gary's Mod and Source Filmmaker have had their advantages between each other when it comes to making the more physically comedic machinimas. So as many of you are aware, several Gmod Machinima creators on YouTube have decided to make the switch from Gary's Mod to Source Filmmaker, as some of them believe it's a superior and less frustrating alternative to Gary's Mod, or they've just been using Gmod for so long that they feel that they need a change in the tools they were using. Whatever their reasons, rumors and worries have started among the Valve Machinima audience saying, Source Filmmaker is the Gmod killer. And Others are saying Source Filmmaker is ruining everything that was perfectly fine when it was done in Gmod. So what side of the fence am I on? Well, when it comes to the physical comedy, I say Gary's Mod comes out on top in that respect. And I'm gonna get right into my reasons as to why I think that is. First of all, it's worth mentioning that it's not impossible to make physical comedy in Source Filmmaker, but if you're looking for cartoony ridiculousness, you can't top Gary's Mod. And the reason for that is, first of all, the fact that Source Filmmaker looks so damn good is kind of its downfall when you're trying to perform something in jerky, silly animation, much like on the level of Family Guy and The Simpsons and so forth. Because it looks so good with its HD aesthetics, such as depth of field, motion blur, ambient occlusion, and so forth, it brings about a feel of the uncanny valley when you're trying to make the characters do something otherwise cartoony and ridiculous. It just feels off to watch, especially since Source Filmmaker has a habit of making animations look really floaty. Even if the animations were tweaked down to every last detail, it'll never really match up to the very simple, quirky aesthetic that Gary's Mod pulls off in spades. Alright, so what about mechanically? How does Gary's Mod stack up to Source Filmmaker from a creator's perspective? Well, there's a few things one can do better than the other. Gary's Mod videos have traditionally been a lot like puppetry, only the manipulation is often done as though you were operating an action figure with only one hand. This can be detrimental and limiting in certain scenes, fight scenes in particular. However, with the physics engine doing a lot of the work, you save a lot of time on other scenes if you know a number of tricks. Source Filmmaker, on the other hand, lets you program every aspect of what's on screen in any order. And while this is very advantageous toward the final product and can indeed make those fight scenes a hell of a lot better, it takes an absurdly long time to make most scenes, quite possibly triple the amount of work you would otherwise be doing in Gary's Mod if you're looking to have characters that are very much alive. But that's just how it is with Source Filmmaker. It takes a ton more time and effort to make something worthwhile, just like anything else that's good. That's probably why we see our well-known stop-motion animators like Dr. Face, Funny Neon, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Antoine Dilac? Did Dilac? You know, he's French. That's why we see them stick around with Gary's Mod, because they can get a lot more done in Gary's Mod a lot faster as opposed to Source Filmmaker. Now, I'm not here to pass judgment on those who made the switch to Source Filmmaker. It's a slick tool. It allows the creator to do certain things that Gary's Mod had trouble with. But at the end of the day, I myself prefer to stick with Gary's Mod for the majority of the physically comedic videos. That's not to say I'll never use Source Filmmaker at all, in fact, I plan to use Source Filmmaker for at least 20% of the time in conjunction with Gary's Mod, for certain scenes that I would otherwise struggle with in Gmod. It also will allow me to possibly replace the very buggy Source SDK face poser when it comes to making NPCs talk. As always, there are rumors that I was planning on making an SFM idiot box, and that... I just don't see that happening whatsoever. Remember the Source Filmmaker short, Giant Man Is Not Afraid, that I did a week ago? That video was a minute and a half long. Know how long it took Source Filmmaker to render that video? Four and a half hours. Of course, that can no doubt be because my computer is over four years old now, and its age is really showing. I really want to buy a new one to help speed things up a little and worry less about hardware failure, but I just can't afford that right now, so that's out of the question. So, Gary's Mod isn't going anywhere for me. Source Filmmaker is merely going to enhance future videos here and there. That brings me to the Gmod Idiot Box, Episode 11. 
I promise I never stopped making the Gmod Idiot Box, and I don't foresee stopping that series anytime soon. I can see why people would think that, being an entire year has gone by since the last episode, but 2012 has been probably the busiest year of my life. Throughout the year, with me moving cross-country, adjusting to the move, working absurd hours during the day job, learning Source Filmmaker, and working on Duke Nukem Forever Quest all throughout, it was, to say, a bitch and a half to even start working on it. However, all that is out of the way now, and the Gmod Idiot Box can finally resume production. I know I have a reasonable excuse for taking so long with it, but that never kept me from feeling bad for making people wait that long for the next episode of why they subscribe to the channel in the first place. So sit tight a little bit longer because with everything stabilized in my personal life, there's nothing but mechanical issues and procrastination getting in the way of the next episode. And believe me, I'm certainly going to keep procrastination to a minimum. Alright, that does it for now. Hope you look forward to the Gmod videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.